Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Andrew Kaufman, and welcome to True Medicine University. We have a very exciting upcoming webinar with the one and only Dr. Gerald Pollack called The Fourth Phase of Water. And uh, as you know, water is a topic that I have been very passionate about and have been speaking a lot about. So it is extremely uh, exciting and uh, such an honor for me to be able to feature Dr. Pollack. So welcome, Dr. Pollack. Oh, thank you. And uh, it's um, an equal or even greater honor to be speaking with you, Andrew. We're much appreciated. <laughs> So um, I've invited you to come on this forum uh, to speak to our audience about, of course, water and its relation to biology, which I've found to be such a key factor with respect to health. So what are uh, the basic elements that you're going to discuss on this webinar? Uh, well, exactly that. Um, however, there's some background uh, you know, about, about the fourth phase of water. So the fourth phase of water um, is um, is a, is a phase. It's gel like. Uh, it has the consistency of, you might say, raw egg white, uh, for example, and uh, it fills it fills your cells. Um, and also, when cells get activated, for example, when a muscle cell gets uh, activated to to contract. It's not only the proteins that are involved, it's also the water. So the water is playing a central central role in the activities of the cell. So uh, as I said, in the case of, um, of, of a, a muscle, let's say, when the mu muscle is activated, uh, the water transitions, along with the proteins, the water transitions from the fourth phase, which is an ordered phase of water where the molecules are... are uh, uh, aligned, uh, kind of like soldiers at attention, uh, and and it undergoes a transition, the so-called phase transition, to ordinary liquid water, and then when the contraction is is over, it, it retransitions back to its ordered state. So this transition uh, from ordered to disordered and back to ordered again, we we demonstrated is is a feature that. That occurs in virtually every cell in your body. Every cell that that gets activated to do something. Um, uh, not only a muscle cell, but for example, a nerve cell when it conducts, or a secretory cell when it secretes. This transition is centrally important. And so, you know, an issue, an issue that I'll be well, Gerald. Let me let me slow you down for a minute because. You know, this is kind of mind blowing to the people out there, right? Because what we're saying here that what you learned in chemistry in high school that um, elements have three phases, right? That they have liquid, solid, and gas. And, uh, you know, I'm not even talking about plasma. I <laughs> will leave that for another day. But your, your discovery is that water actually has a different phase of matter and that that is the phase that it's in in biological organisms where previously we thought water had no function. It just was the space that everything else that had the function was in, like the proteins. And now through your discoveries, we can explain various biological processes like muscle contraction that before there, there was a hypothesis, but there were some big holes in it. Yes, uh, giant holes, <laughs> uh, in, indeed. Well, yeah, I mean, this is the essence um, uh, of our finding as it, as it relates to biology is, is indeed that there is another phase, and, uh, and that phase is ordered. And, you know, there's a very simple way that you can, you can tell. The textbooks teach us that the water inside our cells, as you, as you pointed out, is just is liquid water. Now, if it were liquid water, if you take a knife, you know, and you cut yourself, <laughs> the liquid would come pouring out as though um, a water pipe, has, a breached water pipe. That's right. Um, and uh, Tom Cowan has talked about this like a water balloon. You know, if you poke it with a pin, the water squirts out. And if you right. poke yourself with a pin, that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. <laughs> right. You know, so, it, it, you know, it, it must mean that that there's something that's 
going on there that um, is different from simply from liquid water. And and we've demonstrated that the, the water in inside your cells is indeed gel-like. And, and it sticks to the proteins and, and other solids inside the cells. So when you cut yourself, it stays inside. It doesn't come out. Um, That's quite amazing. And uh, so, you know, this has just tremendous implications for biology, health, and disease, as you'll see. And we are anticipating presenting this amazing information to you. So please sign up for True Medicine University, the fourth phase of water.